Many kayak fishermen are attempting to put trolling motors, electric trolling motors on their kayaks for a variety of reasons. And there's a lot of do-it-yourself uh, systems out there, commercial units available. In my opinion, most of them are a bit convoluted, over-engineered, or perhaps I should say overthought. I personally gravitate towards the idea of making things simple. I want them to work, but I want them to be simple. And the more simple they are, the better the chance that they're going to work trouble-free. Hobie kayaks are particularly easy to mount trolling motors on because they all share a common feature, this rod holder. You can find this rod holder on the Revolution, the Outback, the Pro Angler, the Adventure Island, the Tandem Island, and several others that I'm, I'm probably not thinking about right now. But for all intents and purposes, they have a common rod holder, which makes a common trolling motor mount possible. Let me install the one that I designed, and you see what you think. Installed. That's it. That's all there is to it. The key to this system is the geometry of the pieces involved. Once I drop this in this rod holder, forward thrust provides a cantilever action, which moves the boat forward. Rearward thrust provides a cantilever action in that direction, moves the boat rearward. This will not come out. It will not climb out. It will not fall out. It will not come out in heavy seas. It will not come out on its own. Now you can take it out. If you decide that you're in a shallow water area and, and you need to uh, remove it, you just reach behind you, lift it out, set it in the tank well or wherever. When you're ready to motivate again, pick it up, drop it in. This unit has been designed to handle any popular trolling motor on the market. This is a very small 18 pound thrust Sevy lower water snake. Uh, they're all the same motor under different brand names. Um, of course, there's a tiller in your switch panel. You just operate it from the seat. If you've got a Minn Kota or a motor guide, uh, most of those motors actually have a longer tiller with the forward and reverse and, and uh, all your controls mounted on the tiller, which makes them even more uh, simple to use from, from the seat. Um, it's simple. It works. You're not giving up anything. It doesn't take up any room. You don't have bars across. You don't have counterweight. If you need to trim the boat, just slide your battery over a little bit more to the, the far side. Um, you just don't give up anything and as I said it's simple and it works and by the way I didn't give up my rod holder either